Welcome back to the Bianca Ism Show. I'm your host, Bianca Ismolovsky, and in today's episode, we will be talking about some very traumatic things from my teenage years. Um, I'll be a shocking confession, actually. And also, uh, we'll be playing a little music game, which I hope you stick around for. If you do like the podcast, please remember to like and subscribe. And also, if you're in Melbourne, I will prefer be performing at Melbourne Fringe doing my show Working Girl, which is really good, isn't it, Chris? I love it. <laughs> love! Things. Love Working Girl. <laughs> okay. And today I'm joined by my best friend and friend of the podcast, even though this isn't a podcast, it's a vodcast, whatever you want to call it, uh, Chris Demos. Mwah. Hello. Mwah. Welcome back. It's so good to be the first return guest. Yeah. Third Greek in a row, though. How's that? Third Greek. I had Eloise, I had Kat Zam, and oh, now wow. you. Is yeah. this a Greek This podcast? has now become a Greek podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, el, el, oh, what? Oppa. Oppa. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Jeez, okay. I'm going to be discerned by the church now I after want, that. I want better Greeks that understand. <laughs> I was going to say yeah. the word for Greece. Elas, but no, that's Oppa. You say Oppa. Yeah. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> We were just talking, so I just want everyone to know where we record, which is Stupid Old Studios, give a shout out. Uh, we have our faces up on the screen. We can mm. see the cameras and you will see every guest staring at themselves in there the camera. Is. They're looking up at themselves at all times and uh, they ignore me entirely. So that's just, just wanted to let you know that's what people are looking at. And I bring this up because, yeah, when I FaceTime people, I like to do it on WhatsApp. Because on WhatsApp, you can just click the camera and it changes who's the big screen. And I just look at my face the whole time. That's more important, though. It is more important. You know what they're seeing. Well, I would assume that they're doing the same thing. I don't think many people would do that. (laughs) (laughs) In fact, I FaceTimed two friends on Sunday night, Uh did the double, triple. And I was ignored. The triple cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Um, And... Double One of them had cheese. their camera off and I was like, your camera's off. And they were like, oh, I didn't even realise. And I was like, what is happening? What sort of Zoom call? What do you mean they had their camera off? Like, you know, they had their iPhone up, but they were blurred. And I was like, oh, your camera's off. Interesting. And they didn't even realise. So obviously they weren't looking at themselves. That's, they seen them. Yeah, that's big boomer behaviour. Mm. Okay. Big What's man. been happening since you've been gone? Since, well, since I can breathe for the gone. first time, which is... <laughs> Thank God. Thank um, God. You stifle me. Yeah. <laughs> since, since I've got, I, I actually can't remember what it was. Was it this year? It must have been. It was. Okay. Well, I haven't had a birthday yet. Thanks for asking. Um, since last time. But it's coming. Okay. And I, well, two things. Okay. Well, a lot of things. Okay. Two things that I can think of mm. is I went to the dentist. Okay. I went to the dentist yesterday. Oh, I went last week. I need two fillings. Really? Yes. I've never had a feeling and I'm like shocked. Yeah. Because why are you not me? Oh, 100%. It, it's not because of sugar. It's because I'm an aggressive brusher and I've brushed too low too and I've got brush. an exposed root, which really? makes sense because I expose every other part of that's my body. You, <laughs> hey. Exposed rooting is your game. <laughs> that's literally my game. That's how I'm, that's my bread and butter, baby. So, yeah. So, you went to the, oh, uh, so that I, sucks. Yeah. Okay. But you went to the dentist. I went to the dentist and- I'm missing a tooth. Do you know this? Um, no. Can we zoom in on this? <laughs> <laughs> this? This tooth down here. I've never seen that in my life. G- gone. Born this way, baby. Really? I lie and tell people I was in a fight, but people know I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter, but I'll crack your teeth, Missy Elliott. So, Thousand uh, percent. I went to the dentist and he was like, because I had braces to open that gap up to fit the missing yeah, tooth in. Yeah, widen the gap. Yeah. And- then I lost my retainer long, long time ago. Oh, 100%. Who, people, people still wear their retainers in their third. I wear my retainer in my 30s because I paid for braces myself, painstakingly had them as an adult at age 27, and I'm not going to fuck up my investment. It's privileged little kids like you that got your braces paid for by your parents that you didn't know how much it cost and you didn't give a shit. Oh, they told me. <laughs> no, I knew. It was I expensive. Said, fuck it. it was very expensive. Um <laughs> But the dentist was like, what we can do is build up the tooth next to it to be as big, to fill up the gap. Yeah. So he spent about 45 minutes crafting my tooth to be double the size. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Okay. And then he gave me a mirror and he's like, what do you think? And I, I just went, take it out. <laughs> I, so instead of having four teeth at the front between yeah. the two pointies, yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah. front. It was just, it was normal teeth. Two and then normal one teeth big. and one big mama. And, <laughs> and I was Why like. 
exactly why it feels better. And I was like, to get rid of it. He's like, it's taken me 45 minutes to craft. And I was like, you leave that in there. You're going to charge me $1,800. And I can't. And also it was hanging in air. It's dual leap levitating that tooth yeah. was, right? It wasn't anchored into anything. Right. Yeah. It's so like, what, Apple will get underneath <laughs> that fucking tooth, I'm right? Sorry. Was he putting an implant in? No. He was he was attaching he was making tooth number two double tooth. If he can if sorry, but if he has the ability to mold a tooth, surely he has a ability to mold like a slight line. But to just make that it would look- probably weaken the because don't forget this tooth isn't anchored into anything. It is purely existing for the other tooth. Okay. Yeah. So that's why so there's a big chomper. Yeah, big chomper with, but underneath there would have been microscopic space to allow yeah. debris. No, hundred percent. I my, think I think you would have to remove it every night. No, you couldn't. It was stuck to the tooth. The second tooth became I bigger. Babe, I don't know where you, what dentist you've been seeing, but like report him because that's well, wrong. He'd lost a lot of weight, and then I went to the dental hygienist. Oh, oh, oh. I was exactly, epic. and I didn't know how to say to the dental hygienist. I was like, "Wow, he looks thinner." She's like, "He does, doesn't he?" And I was like, "Spill the tea." <laughs> <laughs> is the dentist who I'll never see again or is it big? I need to know. <laughs> okay, wow. But she said no. I, 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 oh, sure it was, I was just like, diet and exercise. Just a diet and exercise. Um, so I was like, in this day and age, in this day, come on. I mean, I feel bad for anyone losing weight through diet and exercise this day. And that's age. literally how I've been doing it. Yeah, and but it's also. How you've been <laughs> True, but no one will ever believe me. No, 100%. People have asked me the last Ozempic and I'm like- You were never Ozempic, look. Like you are, have always been thin and will- in, You've always had abs. I have always had abs and that's yeah, just okay. genetics. <laughs> well, usually people that get on Ozempic don't have like, I've got abs, but I could have more. Yes, but people have said like, oh, is it Ozempic? And I'm like, who? what doctor would give me Ozempic? A lot of doctors. Okay. <laughs> Do you know which ones? Yeah, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, well, thanks for telling me about that. I actually have something that I wanted to tell you. Oh, God. And it actually, it, you just said, oh, you know, you were missing a tooth. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that about you. Mm. And I have something that I want to share with you that you don't know about me. I don't think you know this about me. And I, and I only bring it up because I forget this happened. I forget this about myself. Okay. I completely forget. And then I'll remember and tell someone that's like in my life and they lose their fucking mind. And this happened recently because I told my current boyfriend about it and he could not let it go. And I realized, I don't think I've told Chris this. I'm scared. So, and here's the truth. And you know, you think you know someone and then you find out something quite appalling about them. If you're a Scientologist, I'm leaving. <clears throat> No, I'm in the West Borough. <laughs> <laughs> I loved your rendition of Poker Face. You killed it. 9-11. Um, so, okay. You know the show My Strange Addiction? Yes. You know how people have weird addictions mm. and things. I used to have a tissue eating addiction. That's actually been a strange addiction. No, I know. A lot of people have had this addiction, but I was one of them. I used to. Girl, I'm sorry. You need those pic because I'll stop you eating them tissues. It's not <laughs> I don't you can care. slip back at any moment. I could recede. You know, sometimes I blow my nose and like a piece <gasps> of tissue, like from the bottom, will like get in my mouth and I go, say, Oh, that takes me back. Um, <laughs> it's, oh, the, it's the nostalgic to taste take me back of myself. a Kleenex. Um, yeah, so I used to be I when I like when I tell you, so this went on for years, like years. It wasn't just like a quick little <laughs> foray into tissue eating. I was eating tissues for years, and I was, you know, like a grown adult. I was like sexually active. I was like a teenager with a boyfriend, and I was the skinniest you've ever been. And oh, I was malnourished. <laughs> I would sit down, you know, like Friday night, watch a movie. <laughs> Can of Coke, you know, box of tissues. I would literally eat them like popcorn. Why? How did this happen? I'm. I don't know if my face is giving you the fact that I am. I'm. I'm still at the intrigue stages. If you're a stranger telling me this right now, right? And we'll get to shock. <laughs> well, we're in shock. Yeah, we're in deep shock. Yeah, no, that's. A, so I'm shocked why, as well that that happened. Why did you do it? Where did it start? When was the first time you had the sweet, sweet taste of Kleenex? You know what? I don't remember, but I just remember I think it was accidental. Like a tissue came into my mouth. (laughs) I think a tissue, a piece of tissue must have just got into my mouth. And I was like, oh, I actually kind of 
like that. And then I don't, <laughs> babe, I don't know. It started off slowly, you know, like I would have like a little nibble of like the corner of a tissue. And then I just, <laughs> and then I just started. Have you ever eaten a whole tissue in a sitting? Easily. Have I ever eaten one? Babe, I would I, I would pull out several at a time and shove them in my mouth. But not at once because I would get goopy. Surely you only have to little bites of them. No, right? no, no. I'd shove a whole, a whole one in there because I also, this was my dirty secret, so I didn't want anyone to see me like nibbling on one. So I would shove one right in my mouth and then just sort of like nibble it down. Toilet paper ever in a in, in a pinch? I mean, yeah, I would, I would go toilet paper in a pinch for sure, but not from the toilet. Because no. that's very germ infested. Right near the thing. Of course, yeah, you know, but yeah, like yeah. if we were out of tissues and I was like, fuck, because, you know, I would eat them every day. You eat tissues every, every day. Every. How did you kick the tissue habit? <laughs> well, um, I think I realised, I remember like when I was in it, I remember being like, is this ever going to stop? Is there ever going <laughs> to Without doing any introspection or work on it stopping, just like, will the universe ever stop me eating tissues? <laughs> will I ever kick this habit? Well, no, because without trying to. <laughs> will I have to go to rehab? And because I didn't want anyone the tissues. To, no, I. Well, I don't know. How do you get over an addiction? You know, they t- send me to a rehab clinic, and you know, someone's like, "Yeah, I'm addicted to methadone," and someone's like, "I'm trying to kick nicotine." And I'm like, yeah. "Babe, the hold that quilting the aloe have vera on me." Cleaner. No, absolutely not. I was going to say eucalyptus. No, that would no, burn. absolutely not. That was sick. That okay. like so. I bet sometimes I would because I had no other option and it would make you unwell. Yeah. Because that, that's like a doTERRA rep drinking, you, like, you know, their oils. Don't drink oils and don't eat Don't eucalyptus. drink the oils. A girl went to uni with used to drink the oils. Yeah, well, don't. Well, it's too late for her. <laughs> and learn from me. Yeah. I, so my favourite was Quilton. That was my favourite brand. Mm. That was like just, the, I think they were just like a really basic, simple, good tasting tissue and I would just <laughs> sit down and eat them. So you'd enjoy it. Hold on. Here's a question. Okay. What level, like, is this like, I'll enjoy eating bread with something on it as much as you can enjoy that. Bread with butter on it is one of my favorite meals. Okay. But let's not favorite. Favorite, you went too far just there. Okay. Like a, a food that I will just eat and be like, that's what I ate. A banana. Right. Excellent. Yes. Banana. Uh, it's like, I, I need to eat something right now yeah, or a, I will pass out. Exactly. And a banana's fine. And it's, and, yeah. I like, and I like bananas off. So was it you eating a banana or Mm-mm. was it you eating like a chocolate chip cookie? It was chocolate chip cookie. I would forego a cookie for a tissue. Well, isn't that kind of the dream to love a low calorie snack? I mean, that's true. But it was, I think they're covered in bleach or some sort of. <laughs> Like the fact I didn't die, and because no one knew this about me either, you know, I had a boyfriend. Did, mu- did you? I'd be know? like sneaking. No, I mean now everyone knows about it because it's like my secret. You know, I will, I will keep a shameful secret, shameful at the time. But mm. then you know, once I've kicked the habit, I'm fine with telling people about it. So yeah. people know about it now. But yeah, at the time I was terrified of anyone finding out because it's such a like. I, look at me. Me, a tissue eater. It's very puzzling. I'm a very normal <laughs> person. You know, I, I, I was, you know, I've always been very popular. I've had friends. I come from a good home. And yet somehow <laughs> Maybe you it's had a it slippery all. slope. <laughs> and you needed, like, I need a point of difference. Babe, it was sick. I would eat so many. Like, I could I could easily put it away Were you like living at box. home when you were eating tissues? Yeah, I was so like. So was your mum like, was, what, more Cottonelle? Or yeah, I do in? think about that. Like, did she ever think, God but you know what? I did live with my brother who's a teenage boy. He was probably going through as many tissues yeah. as I was, let's be real. Yeah. So she probably just thought it was him. Yeah, okay. She's like, oh, again, another God, box. The two of you. <laughs> so between the two of you. <laughs> yeah, so I ate a lot of, I had a tissue eating addiction. I kind of want to try eating a tissue now. No, I do not recommend it because it I actually does. Because you know what? It's also like there's something, there was something really strange about like, like, Stop. <laughs> Because, like, you put it in your mouth at first and it's kind of like, you know when you, like, just put fairy floss in your mouth and it still tastes, like, fluffy mm. and then it would melt down yeah, and yeah. it would get quite watery. And, like, so you'd have all these different textures and things. Stop looking at me like it's that. It's just so strange. Isn't it, though? From you. From me. Like, I feel like when I – I used to love my strange addiction, mm. right? And I feel like the the toilet paper eating, the tissue eating was like quite a got a mild one mild, really because some absolutely. people were eating ho- entire couches, dryer or sheets, which I assume is I don't know what that is. I think it's an American thing. Yeah, there was a woman who slept had to sleep with a hair dryer pointed at her fingers, <laughs> and I was like on on. I could not. I had to sleep with her hair dry pointed at her fingers, and I remember that a recap recap of that episode. <laughs> I'm sorry, and she said. Since that episode aired, the amount of people who have contacted me and said, 
me too. And I was like, that one's not a weird eating one. The weird eating ones are the weirdest ones, right? But I was like, that one is so bizarre. And the fact that you're not alone. I just don't understand how that, and I mean, this coming from someone that had a strange addiction, I don't understand how you would be like that. And also, sorry, look, I, I have very thick hair. It, I struggle to find a hairdryer that stays on oh. the entire time that I need it. Gosh, I thought you were going to. So she's sleeping all night mm. with it on. Like, yeah. what hairdryer is she using? Remington. I oh. don't know. It's my <laughs> uh, but I feel like it would have been Remington. American, like, she was older, so she'd done it since like the 90s. Yeah, it's probably Remington. Yeah, let's be real. Be Remington. Yeah, wow. Well. So delicious tissues. Have you ever, like, just slipped back? No, I've You've never. You've got a cold, I've, a lot of tissues around. Absolutely not. It's, I mean, you know, I've quit. I've quit a lot of things in my time. I've quit alcohol. I've quit nicotine. I've quit cocaine and I've quit tissues. When was the conscious decision to quit tissues? No, I wanted, it's it's like any addiction that you're like, I'm a slave to this. And now it's like, like it felt, it, it felt insane. I felt like I was going crazy because I didn't want to be doing it, but I also couldn't stop doing it. And, it, and it's also like, I kept being like, I'm going to, am I going to get caught? Mm. I don't want to get caught. And how do I explain this? Like how, ha- how do you explain getting caught with like your like because sometimes I would like to eat them. You know how like a magician will pull like a lot of tissues out, and you would just like get, that would be. I would like want to have like a. You'd get hard when you saw that. Shut. No, I didn't get erect. <laughs> when the magicians pull the tissues. But you know how like when you pull tissues out of a tissue box because they're layered, it comes out mm, like an accordion. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I wanted to get like I wanted to eat the accordion, oh. so I would like like. Like a long fruit roll-up strap yes, of tissues. Just like that, of, wood of pop. tissues. Yeah. Wood pop and bleed. And I've never looked into what the ingredients are of tissue because I think don't. just knowing, <laughs> I think just knowing Honestly, it don't. would make me sick. Yeah, yeah. But I remember because I would also eat paper and I remember someone at school and I must have like, it must have been a thing that I, I, I don't think I ate paper in front of anyone, but I remember being like, would it be crazy if I, <laughs> Eat this way. Or like dare me to eat this Getting paper. Getting people to eat it. You know do what I mean? exactly do what you want. <laughs> hey guys, dare me to watch nine episodes of Below Deck. Dare me, I'll do it. Um. Yeah, right. Um, I think I was like, oh, dare me to eat this paper. And someone was like, you shouldn't eat paper. It's like <laughs> covered in chemicals. And I was like. <laughs> Double dare, dare me. me. <laughs> But yeah, um, so then I started to be like, oh, I've really got to keep this habit because I might die. Mm. Um, and yeah, and the, and to answer what everyone's thinking, yeah, I would literally shit out tissues. Really? Because mm-hmm. your body can't digest your them. Your body can't digest them. Wow. So I was sick for a while. And, and the only reason I ever brought it up with anyone is because I was dating a guy many years later and his mother was talking about a student that she was teaching mm. and how – he would want to eat chalk or something. And she was saying that there is a <laughs> like some sort of deficiency in someone when they want to eat chalk. And I was like, what if they want to eat tissues? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, you've got like some sort of deficiency that is making you want that. It's the same with like a pregnant woman craving something. Oh, deficiency n- nutritionally <laughs> wise. Oh, I mean, there's definitely something oh, wrong. I've- <laughs> Okay. I mean, you're definitely deficient of a couple. You know, you're a few fries short of a happy meal. A few meal. tissues short of a box. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Here come the tissue puns now. <laughs> Great. Um, but, yeah, so I think you're deficient in something that's making you want to eat that. I don't know what it is, some sort of mineral maybe, but that's why I was shoveling tissues mm. down my gob for well, no, years. They must have some – what do trees have? Cellulose. You would in need of cellulose. In need of that cellulose, yeah. but also they're covered in – Chemical. I mean, again, not going to look up. And no one. No, comment. don't don't send it. Don't me. She'll send. Ups- I don't. She got upset. It's upset. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's why I look so good now. Maybe. From like whatever was in the tissues is you know better than candy. Maybe well, not. better than candy, and it's not filled with sugar. Yeah. So think about that. Just the next time, blend. the next time you're sitting at home, but it's fully like that fucking um, little Britain thing. The I never quote Little Britain, but um, there's like a sketch where they're talking in Weight Watchers about what you could eat instead oh, of cake. Yeah. And she's like, anyone dust, dust you know? Yeah. yeah. And um, Anybody? No, and everyone's dust. like laughing at that. Mm. And I'm like, dust sounds pretty good. How did dust go? Imagine if you evolved to like the tissue was the bread and something insane was like your jam equivalent. Do you eat bread and jam ever? <laughs> no, I don't eat bread or jam. Okay. <laughs> and I don't eat tissues anymore. I'm a grown woman. You eat straight. You know those hard, you know those hard 
paper towels when you go to <laughs> wash your hands at a restaurant. <laughs> Fuck no. That mm. would be the worst. See, that would be, that's too hard. You want something soft. I think that would be like crispy. No, that would be hard to digest for sure. But I have had paper towel. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. There you go. So how do, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. Well, it's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> What? Said, I don't know what you just the said. The fuck? What was that sound? Was that the was that? That started off as a fart and then turned into like a a piece Boy. of metal going bring. <laughs> yeah. I don't know we just I hope that did pick up. <laughs> I hope that, that you guys crazy. heard that because we don't know what that sound was in here, but it sounded. Is it my chair? Can I slightly move? Oh, okay, yeah. Stop <laughs> um, doing. Well, I've never. I've. I when I was a child, as a as a child, like I didn't know better. You knew better. I would eat dirt, but I think everyone did, and obsessed, obsessed <laughs> with, by the handful of eating butter. Right, that's my that's my French roots. <laughs> Give me a break. Well, when I was very little, I would go as a child. I was obsessed with eating sultanas. That's normal as a child. However, dead flies. (laughs) You ate dead flies. Remarkably like sultanas to a very small toddler. And my mum said she would catch me eating like dead flies. Maybe you need. how is that any different? I thought this was a safe space. You're eating the deceased. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was. Maybe you should make some sort of skincare brand of flies and tissues. And be like, it's my secret. <laughs> <laughs> What's my secret? I don't eat food. <laughs> I <laughs> I survive flies on flies and yeah, tissues. T- yeah. The wings didn't <laughs> put you off, mommy. This sultana has wings. <laughs> Bianca, please. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I, like, I don't have any memory of that. I was very young. My mum told me about it. So yeah. I used to allegedly, I was a horse girly. Mm-hmm. Right. Were you? Surprising that See, I was See, that's more embarrassing so than anything I've said on this podcast. I think when you're gay, you just have to be obsessed with horses as a child. Right. And I would carry around, I don't remember this at all, a little like glad baggie of grass. I was <laughs> oh, like- shut the fuck <laughs> up. Shut the fuck up. And I don't know if it was to feed a horse or because I was the horse. I I can't remember. <laughs> well, just in case you needed a little snack on the go. As a horse. <laughs> or is there a horse around? I'll coax it over with a Oh, baguette. my God. But my aunt used to look after me sometimes, my mum's sister. <laughs> And allegedly I was in like the back of her car as a kid with my little baggie of yeah. glass. And she had to take her car to get serviced. And I left my little baggie there. And then when she came to pick it up, he was like, I put your stuff like in the glove box. It was straight up blades of grass. Like this guy had never seen. <laughs> He's never seen marijuana. Oh, yeah. He's like, But she was like, what stuff. are you talking about? He's like, it's in the glove box. He's like, oh, that's my horse nephew. Oh, sorry. My, <laughs> my horse nephew. Um, that's for my flaming nephew's yeah. horse obsession, actually. He'll come out in about 26 years. Uh. <laughs> okay. We can move on to the next part of the podcast. Is there a prop? There are props. Oh. I'm so excited. Um, I've actually, I've been preparing. <clears throat> oh, cue Very cards. official cue cards. Okay. Um, so the reason <laughs> we're going to play a game. Okay. okay. Uh, don't relax. Charles. Okay. Looking at myself. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's just have a quick like check in. I'm still convinced I am that <laughs> I, I have a silver poisoning or something. I look a different color to you, right? Yeah. I look like a primary color. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 It might be the needling still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got needled. Chris got needled. Um, Turned red for a while. I was fully. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. It'll come. <laughs> okay, so the game that I'm going to play with you today, and I've literally been like doing little ooh, um, notes this morning, but <laughs> pe- people often say to me mm-hmm. that I have the best lyrics recall. Oh. But I think oh. you have me beat. Oh. 
I don't know. That's actually okay. <laughs> I think that you're excellent. I mean, just already in this podcast, you have thrown in, you did a Kelly Clarkson quote and then. And I fought some others. That you, you, said, yeah. you said like a word and I was like, don't sing obscure you always- Lil Wayne song. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's your strange addiction. Sing Lil Wayne. Singing Lil Wayne and song. And eating grass. <laughs> No, that's not strange at all. No. For a horse. For a you horse. <laughs> Mum, why didn't you tell me you conceived me via a horse? Why did you not tell me that? Mum, I'm clearly a horse. I'm, I'm I have obviously. no connection to this man. I'm a horse. Um. Okay. So what I want to do is is I'm just going to say like obscure parts of a song. Oh, gosh. And then you have to either say the next bit or sing along or just name the song. Okay. Some of them are going to be hard. but oh, God, people, you're actually better than this amazing. No, okay. I don't know because, okay, this is the one I've done as an example because okay. I know you're going to get this. <laughs> if I say this to you. <laughs> right. Let me. Okay. <clears throat> Am I throwing you off? Didn't think so. <laughs> and that's <laughs> on period. See? And that's <laughs> Promiscuous Girl by Nelly and Timberland. Am <laughs> I throwing you off? Nope. Didn't think oh, so. I didn't say the note. No, you didn't, but it's fine. Oh. It's the same thing. I mean, hey, it was the first time. Okay. If I said this to you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> This, this is, is a jazzy, jazzy fizzle, 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 fizzle. Product shizzle. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Miss Say, Miss Say. The, the princess, princess is here. See, Sierra, this, this beat is automatic. See, you're, you're, you're natural at this. I know. And we should keep it to 15 seconds for copyright reasons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, wait. We can sing. You we can just sing. can't play it. I don't know. Can you sing? Yes, I can sing, Bianca. Yeah, that's a good point. I will let you know I can't sing. So, can't and there sing? is, there's, I mean, I ha- no, I can sing in the sense that like it's not terrible, but it's mm. not like good. Okay, it's singing. All right, <laughs> I'm this one. I'm going to say it. Oh, this is all. I'm just going to give you four words. Oh, gosh, five words, I think. Mm. Jack Knight and Dakota House. All I want to do is make you bounce. Moment Moment if if you turn, turn me out. out. Show me what, what your thing, thing is all about. about. And that's- that is one of the best songs. That song, the clip, the everything. Yeah. She's an icon. Touch it by Monifa. We have oh. to tell them because they might not know. They might not know Touch it by Yeah, Monifa. they might not We're know. We're actually just giving you a great playlist. It's now, actually just a really good stage. playlist for you. I love Touch It. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one, I am I know you're going to get this. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if the people at home get it too. <laughs> there will be no words. <laughs> Let me explain this to y'all. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm not, not going to let you run, run this. Me. How we're going to do, do it is I'm, I'm going to run, run you. You, you, <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. And that's as if that's by, by black. By black. No, B-L-A-Q-U-E. B-L-A-Q-U-E. Not the shop. The shop. B-L-A-Q. Does that exist is anymore? That, is that around still? I hope not. And You're a friend of mine worked at black. Can I do a little tangent? Oh, please. Uh, she worked at B-L-A-Q. Yeah. I think on Chapel Street. Okay. Years ago. Uh, what like kind of, what did they sell? Bad clothes for men, correct? Yeah, I thought it was a man store. Yeah. It was like when But Q- sorry, like every man store is the same. Every Who's that going level. into Connor? Connor. <laughs> YD. Connor, YD. Please. Do you shop Nike, N-I-Q-U-E? Oh. You put a Q, there was a time in like the mid 2000s, you put a Q in, it made it cool. Or that one that's like RVCA. R-V-C- what is that? What is that? I, I see I've that. Never, I'm like, I see do you work all- for the RSCV? I'm always like, I see it around and I'm like, is it Rulka or is it Ravaka? Like, what is it? Is it a brand? It's a brand. Or whatever. Roger David? Does that exist anymore? <laughs> no, it's Roger Rabbit. That's a rabbit. <laughs> One's a shop. Okay, okay, okay. But she worked there. I think she was like yeah. 16 working there, like after school. Yeah. And- at like four o'clock, the manager would be like, let's get drunk. And she's like, um, one, I'm 16, two, there's an hour left of work. Yeah. And then she got fired for like not being a team player. <laughs> Allegedly, don't Allegedly, assume if you still exist that shop. No, that's probably why the shop went down in flames. I want to make sure it did go down in flames. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. This one, I want to save that one for a bit later. Okay. okay. And just like, I just want to apologize for voices I might do. 
but I'm try- I'm doing them as close and authentically as possible, so, can, so you understand. Yeah, okay. Fire benefit. Yeah, freaky Petey, love you too. Ha ha. I know how you do that good. You, you may look at me and think that I'm just a young girl, but I'm not just a young girl, baby. This is what I'm looking for. Freaky and that is Petey. and that is goodies by Sierra. Sierra is the most underrated performer of I our ain't generation. I never had no bad Oh my God, that thing said you got, yeah, that's she eats. A, that's a bad one of her. What? That's Bow Wow and Ciara. I was listening to her on the way. They dated, didn't they? I'd hope so. <laughs> I'd hope so. Okay. <clears throat> this one's like, like, uh. <laughs> I'm like, uh. Okay. I love it when they try to get scandalous. Even though they really can't handle it. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. Trying to take me out to dinner. I, I cancel, cancel it. it. And that's Long Way to Go by Cassie. Also incredibly underrated. Very and underrated. the pioneer in my mind of the shaved head side. Rihanna has some things. No, just- Cassie first. Really? Cassie first for sure. Long Way to Go was like. 2002, right? Was the head shaved, but she had a braid there or something? She had, it wasn't just shaved, I was think it? It was just shaved. And she had that song, it was like that get high, fuck a bunch of girls. Remember that? No, I don't. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now- if I sung that, you wouldn't have got it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I would not have got that. Okay, some of these I really don't know. Like we've never spoken about oh these God, songs. I'm, that's what I'm intrigued by. So I mean, I'm like I'm intrigued to know if you're gonna get it, and if you don't get it, I will just keep going until maybe you do. Okay. All right. Gonna be late, gonna be late, but all my girls gonna have to wait because I don't know if I like my outfit. I picked everything in my closet. Nothing feels right when I'm not with you. Mm-mm. That's T-shirt by Chantel. We'll be listening to that on the way home. <laughs> to our home. You skipped like seven. No, no. These ones I've already done. Oh. Okay. Also, by the way, for um the black as if the lyric I wrote was just do the thing. Just do the thing. <laughs> oh, I love that. Was that. Yeah. <laughs> also, the end of the movie, Bring It On. We didn't touch on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's from Bring It On. Mm. You've been touched by an angel, angel girl. girl. Okay. That wasn't a song, but. That wasn't a song, but like, that's yeah. a quote from the That's song. one of the first things I said to you. Was it? Do you remember? I was like, you told me a story and I was like, you know what that reminds you of? Like that scene, you've done something nice for someone. Yeah. And I was like, that's like, you've been touched by it. And you're like, yeah, I know exactly what I know exactly is. what you're talking about. <laughs> Dummy if you want to make friends, just quote movies that made something to you. And uh, if they respond. That, then they, That's how you find your people. Friends. That's true. Okay. This one. You know I used to beat that block. Now I uh, bees the block. That's upgrade you. That's that is the only good be. No 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 no. To you me. No 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 no. To me. Chris does not like Beyonce. I like Destiny's Child. What's up? We in the house. Shut up. But. <laughs> but, but upgrade you is yeah a, such a good song. I just don't think. Other Beyonce songs are as good as, get ready, Kelly Rowland songs. <laughs> I don't think Girls Around the World is better than Freemason's remix of Work. I don't think that, uh, what's another Beyonce song that I don't like? Um, <laughs> name one. Oh, do you, you like Partition. I like Partition. I like Crazy in Love. I like Cuff It. The others, nowhere near as good as Stole. <laughs> so, Okay. <laughs> Speaking of Stole by Kelly Rowland, I have a problem with this song because I don't <laughs> listen. First of all, it's a song about a school shooting, which yeah. were very popular at the time. You know, yeah. after. Well, com- popular is an interesting word. Well, the, <laughs> they were America's response to healing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so there was a few of them. There was like that one that was like. Um, uh, pumped up kicks. Oh, okay. It was pumped up kids, but that came out a bit later. Okay. But I'm talking the one that was like, you know, by that, ba- they're like, first day of the rest of my life, whatever. <laughs> we are, we are the youth oh, of a nation. Is that what that's about? Yeah. Cause he's oh. talking about going to school and there was like some kid that shot him. Right. Yeah. So like horrible, horrible themes. Okay. And um, I don't need to remember Kelly Rowland stall. I don't have to think about it. I don't want to think about it, frankly. And yet it is in my head 
constantly because I was at Chris's house recently and he sang it for some reason. Just Mary's got the same size hands as my mom. And And, um, I didn't need to hear that. But like I would wake up every morning with this song in the middle of the night. I'm just thinking about like she put her fingers in the imprints at Man's Chinese Chinese Theatre Show. And I'm like, oh, my God. And her life was stole, you know. (laughs) And then I'll stop. I'll stop. I won't hear the song anymore. It finally leaves me just like a tissue addiction. I rid myself of it. (laughs) And then for some reason, you'll just message me about it or sing it to me. (laughs) Oh, yesterday you sent me a video of you singing it. And I'm like, what are you doing to me? This is torture for me. We're meant to be friends. (laughs) It's that's just the song that comes into my head. Mary's got the That's the song. Yes. That's, but that's just like, that's my default. My brain is wired to when there's a moment of silence, just Say Mary's got the same. And do you know what mine is? What's yours? I, I mine. I've got two. I will often just go, "Peace up, a town." Do do mm. do do. Or I go, "This is how we do it." <laughs> Sometimes you and I couldn't be more different. Than no, those yeah, two truly, choices. we couldn't. But at the same time, very similar. Sim- yeah. Okay, this one. I'm sure you're going to know this song, but considering you didn't know T-Shirt by Chantal, I mean, I'm devastated. But maybe you'll know this one. It's a lesser known track, but I think you'll get it. I think you'll get it. Okay. All right. And I catch a bone while you're dogging me. More. When you're out in the club. Don't think I'm not. Even when you're when out I'm making, making love, love. Don't think I'm not. not. If you're feeling good in somebody's spot, getting hot, Who don't stop. That, Lucy Pearl? that no. is Candy, who I believe is on The Real Candy Housewives. Candy, Candy. That's Candy. That's Candy. She's on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Atlanta, yeah. yeah. Candy Burris. And she wrote No Scrubs. Did she? Yeah. And this has now become a music trivia podcast. I I once said it to a friend of mine, probably like four years ago. Mm. I was like, I've realized something about myself. Whenever I go out, like out, out mm. to a club. Yeah. Um, the, your, your club. The way I said it like that, it's like, he's never been to a club. I've been to a club. <laughs> I've clubbed. I've club. I club. And I was like, the only thing I actually ever want to hear is no scrub. <laughs> really? Like, I'll get That's down. all you want. Yeah. You I really get like, down what's to that. what I really want. All ever want is 2000s R&B yeah. and I will fight to till my last breath it's the best it's the his best. era of music and the, and you know how you know that because R&B Fridays took over the world and why is mm. that because everyone said this really is the best music I think I told you this I had like a school dance wow mm-hmm. we danced and the, the playlist was like a very <laughs> early 2000s playlist because that's yeah what the year was oh it was the year it was the year and it was like that man whose name we cannot speak. Which one? Um, okay, no, no, I one. know, I know which, I know which one, I know which one you're talking about. Not the current one. I know it's. Oh yeah, yeah, the remix to that. Yeah, the remix. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now usually I don't do this, but uh. yeah, yeah, just trying to be rude. But the it was that like that and Mary J Blige Family Affair, excellent, and that era, mm. you know, Jagged Edge, all mm. that, and a decade later. I was at the same venue because yeah. I for some uni thing, I was in uni by that point. Yeah, yep, yeah. Exact same songs. And it's like, do you know why? Because they stand up. And also- Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> when I move, you move. Yeah. No, 100%. It stands up and it's what people want to hear. Yeah. So if I'm going anywhere, I want 2000s, period. Okay. I don't know if you're going to get this one now. Mm. Yo, this song, yo- this song is for all the women out there. Who've been lied to by their men and you've been lied to over and over again. This is for y'all, y'all. Maybe you didn't break, break the way you, you should have broke, broke y'all, y'all but, but I break. So Last this is year, what I'm Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, Caught Out There by Khalees. Caught Out There is such a good song. Such a good yeah. song. I hate you so much right now. Okay, I love that. Thank you for getting hey, that. Hey, <laughs> How do I not get it from that alone? Um, <laughs> okay, what about this one? I can't really explain it. I'm so into you now. That's I want it. To be more than a friend of you now. When they ask, That's I mention my baby girls yeah, in, in the, the interviews, interviews now, now, and I'll bring the problems from the nineties <laughs> in, in the two thousand. Perfect. That, that could was have been, that could be the best song ever made. Up there, it's up there. Into you by Fabulous the featuring fabulous, Tamia. The, we need the fabulous part. That was the fabulous version. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay, there's only a couple left. All right, this one's going to be a hard one because I'm only going to give you one word, oh God. and it's really going to be dependent on whether or not I can nail this note. <laughs> But I really hope you get it because I will be one so impressed. Word. This is like, you know, have you seen those TikTokers like, 
like, how many how many notes can you name that tune? I was like, I can name that tune in one note. Literally. And, like, and, and they're like, it's I feel pretty. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Runway by Kanye. It's always Runway by Kanye. Okay. Oh. Okay. My first thought is this is probably wrong. And I'm going to make you do it again, though, if this is wrong. You went, oh, and I want to go, oh, oh, oh. I want to do Falling by Alicia Keys, but that's not right. That's not right. Because that's not the start of the song. Is that all the start of the song? This is near the start of the song. This is like, yeah, I can do a little bit before it, but I want you to try and get it on just the oh, okay? Try the oh. Oh. Wait. (laughs) It's not scandalous. No. No. Wait. Oh, do the. T- oh, wait. One more time. Oh! I don't need a man by Pussycat Dolls. No. Oh, fuck. Okay. So many songs. Set. All right, oh. I'm going to just do a different bit from the song, but I'm not going to sing words. Okay. Oh. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> High five, five, <laughs> bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. Some that's, RuPaul's drag race. No, those aren't lyrics. That's just in the background when, okay, I'm, I'm going to sing it. Okay, what if I do the bit before the oh, okay. okay. Na, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Oh, we don't know each other well. Yeah, yeah. Wait, to wait, keep how her. does bing, bong, bing? Because that's when she goes, my high heels are clicking towards your door. Bing, boom, oh. bing, bing, bing. It's just one thing. Wow. That was one thing by Amory. That's a really good song also. I really was hoping you were going to get that one. From, oh, oh, wait. Oh, I don't be honest. Trying to let it go. Oh. Trying to keep my eyes closed. <laughs> trying to keep I go straight to car keys jiggle them in my hand. I, yeah, well, if I'd said that, though, you would have got that instantly. My I was car- trying to make it harder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. this one you've just got to go next line immediately. Okay. Can you rock with me? Can you take it to the top with It's me? our baby. Oh. <laughs> But I was right. <laughs> I mean, yes, you're right. But can you rock oh, with baby. me? Oh, baby, no. on top of me. No, no. That, the, the the song is called Rock With You, bracket, yeah. oh, baby, I, I, close bracket. But I think it's oh, baby, then your line. No, it goes, can you rock with me? Oh, baby, non-stop with me. Can, can you take, take it, it to the, the top of me? me? You should have said oh, wanna... baby, but that was rock with you. But I also didn't say the next time. I said two lines after. Hey, fun fact about Ashanti. What? We're born on the same day, but not in the same year, the same day. Okay, that's amazing. Isn't yeah. she younger than you? Libra. So I was born in like 1983. Oh, was she? <laughs> Sorry, I thought that she was quite young. Ashanti? Yes. Ashanti. <laughs> Ashanti. Was, Ashanti was singing songs. When she was like 14. That's what. N- it- no, not like Foolish was not 14. She was very young. Was she? Yeah. It's like Jojo was like 12. Yeah, but Jojo was known to be 12. Can I, t- um, sorry, tangent. Mm. We can cut this out. Yeah, sure. Um, I hooked up with a girl once. That lucky <laughs> woman. Mm. <laughs> and that? Is on period. Um, and her name was Hershanti. And I Hershanti. said, Hershanti. Yeah. And I was like, like Ashanti. Yeah. And she, when she first said her name, and she was like, who? And I was like, Girl, and then I was like, "Oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this." <laughs> Girl, um, amazing. Sorry. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. this one I'll be interested to see. I I think you get it. Nothing less than ill. When we dress to kill, every time the ladies pass, they'd be like, "I will." <laughs> But less gay. <laughs> Hi, Will. <laughs> Hi, Will. <laughs> and that was Miami by Will Smith. But you told me about this. Not many people know that song. Which not is many it. people know that song, and it's really depressing. I probably say it's his best song. Best song. Easily. I say I probably sing number one. My number one is Mary's got the same size hands as Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> and my number two is. 
I'm bending on Miami. <laughs> or however you say, yeah, I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's why. Right. That's right. Welcome to Miami. Ebenino <laughs> a Miami. Yeah, so it's so sexy. It's such a good song. Okay, this one will be interesting to see if you get. <clears throat> Yo, I ain't seen you in a minute, but I got something to tell you from. Listen, Whoa. see the thing about you that caught my eye. It's the same thing that makes me change my, my mind. mind. Kind of hard to explain, right. but girl. Uh, you remind me. By, by Usher. Usher. But here's what, fatal mistake. Male singer. I know I just got Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I was Will throwing Smith. in a couple there that you might not know. I know. I obviously know. No, but yeah. No, I do know that. Okay. And what Usher's big mistake there was on like Will Smith in Miami was not having a woman at least do a bit of the chorus. Yeah, interesting because I've listened to that um, album a lot. 8701 was one of my favourite albums and the only person that ever guests on it is he who shall now not be named. On Usher. Yeah. yeah okay. No female voices. <laughs> All right, this one you're definitely going to get. Let's go to the beach. Beach. <laughs> Let's go get away. They say what they're going to say. Have a drink, clink. <laughs> and a good life. Bad life. just like me is hard Top to come by. Never Never oh, oh, let's, let's go, go get it on. on. And that song. Starship oh. Spanky I, Minaj. I actually fucking love that song. No, I know you do. I've seen you boogie to it. <laughs> and really? I was, and you knew every lyric and I was like, okay, <laughs> here, like, Red, go, oh, go you off. You decided it properly. Be on one, Red one. one. Red one. Red one. <laughs> Let's uh, go to the beach. Let's oh. go to the beach. beach. Let's go get a web. <laughs> I actually hate that era of Nicki Minaj. No, I love it. No, era. no, no. It was ridiculous. Like I like her sort of uh, truffle butter era. It was when I was like, oh, I. Truffle. Is that like, that's not super bass. No, Super Bass After. was that was that era. Yeah, super yeah, this, was super, no, super Bass was great, but then it went like then it went right. into no, then it went into lunacy. With Starships is an insanely bad song. Starships, I is, fuck with it, but it's bad. <laughs> What's the other one? Vava Voom. I, I don't that. know it, and I don't want to know. There's it. another one that sounds exactly like Starships. Yes, the other one. That the other exactly one that's exactly like the same. Yeah, and I remember being like, "Girl, <laughs> I love them." Okay, you have one. She, she hates them too. You know that. Yeah, Nikki refuses to do them. Anymore. I, she, yeah, because she yeah. also knows that they're trash. But what does she do then? Truffle butter. What's a truffle butter? How song? do you know? I know truffle butter. I know it. We will be listening to that on What's the way home. What's another song that she does? Um, the in, one that's like that the one that's got that other rapper that you can't mention. Um, she did that. She did one with him, and oh, he's the singing one, the chorus. The new one. He's singing the chorus, and it's got Drake, Lil Wayne, and him, and it's like, oh, only by Nicki Minaj. That oh, one. I don't know. I never fucked Wayne. I never fucked Drake. On my life, man, fuck's sake. But that's not the same song. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. This is the last one that you have. Right. Okay. Fuck's sake. No, I'm going to do this thing. I get ain't done before. I never leave a gang strand that I had to give more. I'm going to give you what you want, what you're waiting for. Make, Make the, the music, music that, that the people, people can't ignore. A lot Bro. of be bitches. A lot of bitches be tripping. A lot of them be wishing that wasn't my position. A lot of chicks be cows and most chicks be chicken. Fuck, Fuck about the clock, clock, clock Eve and chicken. chicken. I fucking love that. And that satisfaction that by Eve. That satisfaction. Yeah. That is such a good song. <laughs> Thank you so much for indulging that me. That was fun. Was that fun for you? I it was fun for the audience because I had a really good I think time doing like, that. I, can I do one for you? Oh, pl- oh, I- <laughs> Okay, but I'm scared because what if I don't get God, it? This is really I've just done like a whole stack for you. You want to do one for me and I'm scared, but okay. <laughs> if you just go, oh, I'll be like, no, no, got no. it. A Moscow <laughs> at the London Grand. In the USSR. <laughs> I don't know how lucky you are, boy. I appreciate what you say <laughs> and what you don't say. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> you nailed it. Babushka. <laughs> Duh. And that is Sigourney Weaver in Heartbreakers pretending to be a Russian woman so that she can get money from a billionaire. <laughs> She's on period. I'm glad you got that one. <laughs> Big in you, yes, I saw. One of the most unsung comedic films. I'll tell you what, generation. here's your homework. Your- <laughs> Go and watch Heartbreakers starring Jennifer Love Hewitt mm. and Sigourney Weaver yeah. and Gene Hackman yeah. <laughs> and, and that other guy. And Ray Liotta, Ray Liotta. rest in peace. Yeah. He's actually so hot in that movie. He that is. was like my intro to Ray Liotta's existence. And yeah. I remember like having a real crush on him. And then when I watched Goodfellas, I was like, Oh my God, Goodfellas. They made us watch Goodfellas at school. Yeah. Okay. Progressive. Very um, progressive. And I'm watching that film just being like, He's like gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
the Gorgiana, skin, the skin, gorgeous. The everything. Um, but yeah, watch Heartbreakers because it's really good. If you can find it, it's really hard to come by because it's like it's been removed so, from every streaming if service. It, please if you find it, please let me know. Let us know where you can watch it because yeah. I have managed to find it once in the past like two years and then it gets like taken away from me. And I used to have the DVD of it, but um, I lost it in the divorce. So <laughs> when I had um, Mono, Glandula. Mm-hmm. I oh, you were so lucky getting mono. mono yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I had the worst mono ever. Yeah, why am I calling it mono? Oh, it was a joke. Glandular fever. My best friend got it, and uh-huh. then I was jealous that he had it. So I went to the doctor and I was like, "Did I get it too?" I'm like, "How?" Um, okay. And he, the, the doctor's like, "You do have it. You have no symptoms though. You have asymptomatic glandular fever." Wow. Which no one gets. People are like, and my my friend was he lost like. 15 kilos, mm. had to all through the school holidays was like, like, anyway, so I was, but I still had glandular fever, so I could still stay home, but I was totally well. Right. I don't think you had glandular fever. I, I got to stay home. I think you <laughs> shoved some money under the table to the doctor and you said, you tell them I have glandular fever. Well, my mum was actually overseas and she's a doctor. So she would have been like, he doesn't go to school. My dad was like, oh, he might have it, stay home. So uh, I got my bed dragged into the Living into the room. living room. And I just watched Heartbreakers and Jurassic Park 3, bootleg Bali. Bootleg Bali versions. On repeat. On repeat. Three movies for like three weeks. And that's how you, you know what? When I got my wisdom teeth out, I just watched Melrose Place. <laughs> I've got through every season of Melrose Place and. Did it still look, oh, was this back? This was, Melrose was obviously not on the air at this point. No, I had it on DVD. Had the DVD box set. And how was it? Yeah, it's good, but Michael really turns into a prick. Michael? The doctor. The doctor. You know what? If you haven't seen Mallory's Place, give it a watch. Heather Locklear is phenomenal and um, Andrew Shu is very cute. He, You made me actually look him up again recently and he is very he cute. He is very cute, isn't he's he? He's got a good glasses look. Yeah, he's cute. Anyway, um, I think we're running out of time, so we're going to have to wrap up. But oh, yeah, um, thank you for coming back. Thank and you for having me back. You will be back again because I want to play that game again. And that's what the entire <laughs> I should play it to you. Without just one thing. Without just one thing from yeah, Heartbreakers. Moscow, Leningrad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they were telling me about your strange addiction, I don't know what to do with that information, but I've stored it. Oh, it'll haunt you. It'll come up. It'll come up. It, it, you know what? You'll see a box of tissues next time. All of you will. You'll see a box of oh, tissues yeah. and you'll go, oh, yeah, Oh, the amount of lo- – every time we're in a supermarket together, I'll be like, hey, Beck, this isn't the food aisle. Literally. It's the tissue Literally, aisle. my boyfriend. I'll be like, do you have any snacks in the house? And he's like, oh, we've got a box of Kleenex. I'm like, why don't you get the fuck out? <laughs> Of here. The one you said, though, you I used to eat them while you watch movies. Yeah. Are you a movie crier? No. It had The tissues didn't no, serve the no, purpose know, of the tissues but before. Like, if you were a movie crier, it's double. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Even yeah. if I was a movie crier, I would forego the tissues for the purpose of tissuing for snacking. Oh, snacking yeah, more. I would, I would always. You can always wipe away with your hands. You can't eat your hands. You right. cannot eat your hands. And you remember cannot that. eat your hands. <laughs> and that's why you always leave a note. Anyway, thank you so much. We will be back with another episode soon. Pew, 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 pew.